What have you fucked up already today? I sent out an email to over 100 people with some info on it. Thought I messed up, so replied all saying hey xyz was wrong. Then realized it was actually right, so had to send a third email saying actually xyz was right the first time. I hate doing stuff like that. Oof, just got contact embarrassment. I pushed out an application in our production environment the wrong way and made 400 computers reboot smile. Still employed? A telephone interview. Panicked at being unable to answer the technical questions, not even particularly difficult ones, my mind just went blank, and hung up. Too embarrassed to get in contact to apologize. Reach back out, man. I do phone interviews all day long and I'm well aware that it's an awkward situation for my candidates. It's tough when you can't read faces, social cues, etc. So as a result I tend to be way more forgiving of awkwardness than during in-person interviews. There's no shame in pausing for a moment to formulate your response. I actually prefer it to those who just jump in and ramble. Call them back. Claim technical issues and ask to reschedule. You got this. I picked up coffee before I remembered I was on my way to meet someone for coffee. Not sure how that happens, maybe I'm too good at spending money subconsciously. Didn't have safety goggles for my chem lab so I got kicked out. Feel your pain. Wore shorts to my chem 2 lab without realizing. Made it with halfway through without being noticed. Edit, forgot to mention this was my lab final so I don't think leaving to change was an option unfortunately snooze button on three different devices alarm clock extreme you can set it so you can't snooze more than a specified number of times and have to solve math problems to cut the alarm off a teacher whose name i don't even know at my son's daycare said bye love you too after i told my son love you buddy have a good day on my way out so i'm pretty sure she's had a morning full of cringe or maybe she was like finally i was brave enough to say it to him I was supposed to tie down my trash can for Hurricane Dorian, but forgot. Thankfully it was just tipped over. Alabama? My diet, my credit and any chance of getting laid today. Three separate incidents. I really should have showered this morning, but laying in bed until the absolute last minute was just more appealing. We we'll all have those days. Spilled coffee on my brand new dress shirt was working on some accounting homework and came, not for the first time, to the conclusion that I don't want to be an accountant at all. I graduate in May. Update, wow, went to work and was shocked when I got home. Thanks for all of the kind words, experiences and advice. I've been in an awful mood all day and that helped. A little about my situation, I'm 31, will be 32 when I graduate and this is my fourth college. I've been in the service industry for a decade and truly fucking hate it. I'm so close to getting out now that I'm not going to change course again, but I don't think I'll be pursuing an actual accounting job when I graduate. Get your CPA you can go into many fields with an accounting degree not just sitting behind a desk. Wanted to wake up at 7 a.m., woke up at 13 o'clock. Deleted. I lost my wallet in my apartment somewhere, and we swipe our student IDs to get into the apartment, so I'm locked out. Can't get lunch for the same reason. Talk to the cashier and ask if she will charge you twice tomorrow. Actually follow through because you need that person on your side going forward. Kid puked in the car on the way to school. Now the car smells like cocoa pebbles vomit. I made it to the bathroom to puke in the toilet but I puked so hard I shat my pants a little. Smacked the cat in the face accidentally. Now he's having a sulk and not talking to me. I'm two hours late to work. So, yes. 40 minutes early to work. Can't clock in yet. I shit my pants and I was already halfway to work and I had to turn around and go home and change. Can't trust a fart bra. Especially in the morning your body is still asleep. Job interview. Company X representative, so it says here you say your goal is an entry level job. Me, yes, that's correct. Company X representative, your resume says here that you seek an entry level job with company Y. How will that help you here? Me realizing I sent the wrong resume. Ah, fuck. Edit, ironically, I got the job at company Y instead. Life works that way sometimes. I dropped my homemade burger on the ground, so all I ate for lunch was a watermelon slice with the rind. 
told myself I was going to do something productive today, instead went to Starbucks and have now spent two hours sat on Reddit. Forgot to rinse soap off behind ears. Hey at least you don't leave the conditioner on like me. Lather and GT, shampoo and GT, wash body for a bit and GT, rinse and GT, apply conditioner and GT, wash body and GT, step out. Shit. I packed a delicious Asian salad for lunch and I forgot the dressing. Major bummer. My bank account as usual. My friend saw my coochie. Edit, for everyone asking how it happened, I was sitting down and she just saw. And she was like, zero cooch. Just dropped my lunch so yeah good start. Deleted. Thinking about this woman I need to get off my mind. I'm trying to not think about this guy that's on my mind. Why don't we trade? You think about my guy and I'll think about your woman. I can't finish this stupid paper to save my life. Nah, you can. Just write a sentence even if it sucks. Get a really shitty stream of consciousness version out first. Do it paragraph by paragraph, or page by page, small steps my dude. Smoked the last cigarette in the pack at 7am, promised myself I was done for good. Bought a new pack by 9. Every pack is your last pack until you're actually ready to quit. It took me too long to find my motivation, but once it finally hit me, it stuck. Almost 4 years and the worst I've done was a pull from a hook a while bust. Just kinda made my throat hurt. My August time card and a few upcoming leave requests in Kronos. I fucking hate Kronos. Who doesn't hate Kronos? Seriously, fuck Kronos. Fuck its auto scheduler even harder. Forgot to take all my pain meds, school's starting soon and I'm not prepared. Edit, just got home and am finally able to take the meds. I take two over-the-counter painkillers and one doctor prescribed muscle relaxer. Not usually all at once, I take them because of my dislocated wrist to try and diminish the pain. I went to bed at 2am and now I'm at work, does that count? Based on the gas station hot dog and family size bag of flaming hot Cheetos I just ate I am going to say my colon. I got a zero on my Spanish audio assignment for rapping to Frank Ocean. That's an A plus in my book. I just want to use cream cheese freely in my own house, is that so wrong? I poured my dog's food into her water bowl cause I was so asleep. SMH. The nice lady at Starbucks. Here's your drink, enjoy. Me, thanks, you too. I got halfway through a cliff bar before I realized it expired in 2018. My stomach is making interesting noises. Edit, there's been a lot of inquiry into how I'm doing, so I'd like to let you all know I survived, but barely. One like one priori, please donate to my GoFundMe so that I can get an in-date cliff bar. Called out a friend for being less responsive than usual when in reality I was just over messaging. Not sleeping in longer on my day off. I tend to get up earlier on my days off than on days I work. I have a lot of nothing to do on off days and sleeping is doing something. Therefore, I need to get up earlier to make sure I get all my nothing in. And no, this isn't a joke, that is my actual thought process. Oh man, my wife was trying to come on to me this morning. I missed every cue imaginable. It's gotten to the point where me and my wife just say it. Shall we do some sex now? Yes, that would be lovely knock knock knock. Hi it's one of your four kids who would like to make the sex impossible. Took a 500 mg edible and forgot I'm meeting my mom for lunch in an hour. Should be interesting. Shit bro. 100 mg is more than enough to get you high AF. Where you trying to go? My diet by buying candy. Said I would do 2 hours of physics revision and 2 maths past papers. Did 30 minutes of revision. No past papers and I'm currently sat in a Burger King. I just showed up to my first class today 45 minutes early because my scheduled said English starts at 8.05 on Thursdays but it actually starts at 8.50. Plus my mom dropped me off for school at 7.30 so we could beat traffic that doesn't even exist. If you would've waited, you would've seen the traffic that does exist at a later time. First day of high school and my skirt got caught on my backpack so I walked around for 10 minutes with my skirt up and my butt on full display, frowning face, woman face palming. 
I'm on Reddit instead of doing my morning workout. I have homework I should be doing right now. I know. Edit, you guys. Y'all are like nicest thing that's ever happened to me. I made coffee in my 4 cup coffee maker and I the pot wasn't perfectly under the brew basket, causing the brew basket to back up and overflow and making a huge mess. The really stupid part is I heard it sputtering and hissing and didn't put together what was happening until the coffee was done brewing and I turned around to see a gigantic mess. Heading to work and have no clean pants to wear. Everything's been won twice without washing. Going for round three I guess. I can't find my belt so I'm going to be sagging. I skipped three class and missed a club creative meeting. Anxiety makes me so afraid of meeting people lately. I strongly feel they either pitying or hating me. There's lingering in my mind the thought about dropping college that feels so right. Went to class. Didn't get a click a question. I could have slept in and spared everybody, including myself, my presence. If you don't go to class, you may as well just light money on fire. You're throwing away training you're paying for. I wish I would have understood that better in college. Today, in my 30s, I take all the training I can get. I use my yearly education budget. I take training seriously because it helps me better at my job. The better I am at my job the more I get paid. I am going to spend 8 to 9 hours working regardless, I may as well do as much as I can to earn that $1.50 slash hour because that is better than $1.25 slash hour. It is honestly very simple told an interviewee the wrong place to park so I had to pay for his parking. Walked across the street to the parking garage and realized I left my wallet back in my office across the street on the seventh floor. I asked a guy out and he said no frown. Asking someone out takes balls though. I applaud your courage. I washed my body first instead of my hair in the shower this morning. It confused the fuck out of me. I asked my girlfriend to buy me more grapes at the supermarket while she's there. She's mad now, cause I didn't like the last bunch of grapes she bought, didn't want to eat them, and I bought replacement grapes instead, different variety. Now I'm out and need more, but she's refusing to do it and is pissed at me. I wish this was a joke. Found a beehive the wall of my house. I thought it was a good idea to DIY extermination. Sprayed bee killer into the hole. It attacked. I screamed and fell over a folding table by the couch. Luckily, only stung three times. Once on my neck and twice in my arm. Till not a good idea to spray bee killer inside the house because they only got one way to go. Edit, after doing some research these are probably yellow jackets or wasps and they are flying everywhere in my living room now. I think I might have just made them mad and not killed very many. Four minutes into my first shift as a dairy cooler stocker, I dropped a whole shelf full of milk. My finances. I do it every month. Too much month for the money. Not overtaking one of my prescription medications for ADHD. I tell myself every night that I will only take my prescribed dose in the morning. Most days, I fail. I really struggle not just adding one or two more than I am supposed to take. Obviously this shorts me by the end of the month and I typically go 7 to 10 days without it which fucking sucks, but evening knowing that, I struggle with impulse control. No taking an extra pill doesn't get me high because I do actually have ADHD. It just gives me the motivational drive to get things done. It helps makes my body not physically hurt after an hour of being on my feet doing housework and it does also help me stay focused. Yes, I realize I'm technically an addict. I have been for years. I'm horrified if my doctor or pharmacist find out they will make sure I come off of it. Time passes so slowly without the med. My body hurts. And I don't have the energy or motivation to do anything. I just wish I was better at telling myself no when it comes to effortlessly popping the extra pill. Sorry, I kinda really rambled on and went overboard there, but this is the first time I have ever admitted this to anyone and the words just kept coming. Dot.